I have a mark at the top of the skull and at the bottom of the skull. I'm putting a center line in as well. And if you take note of the drawing from the sides of the board, the center of the skull is not straight up and down with the sides of the page. Um, they are tipped at an angle just slightly. Um, the model is not looking straight forward with both eyes level. The model is actually looking with her head tilted. So the center line is going to be pivotal for me to keep all things in the face from straying away and leveling the head out. Um, our human ways want to make things orderly and stacked up. And because we look at people from straight forward, um, we have what is called the symbolic or the iconic viewpoint in our mind of what a head should look like. Um, most beginners will draw, regardless of where they are in the room, the straightforward face with the eyes straight across from each other, the nose directly below, and so forth. Regardless of how much tilt and pitch there is in the head, and regardless of what the viewpoint is of the model. Um, symbolic drawing is sort of an extension of being a child. Um, when we were kids, we maybe had an experience of drawing. We might have. Um, some people that didn't have any experience of drawing as a child won't touch it at all. And um, there, there's a fear factor involved in something that they have never experienced before. Um, and I'm only talking about some. Not everybody is like this. Uh, but without the experience, there's just uh, no desire to go in that direction and, and try that thing out. Now, going back into our drawing here, um, the skull shape that I made is not representative of the top of the skull. What it's representative of is the top of the face plane. Um, the top of the hairline. There is still more skull going up beyond that point. Um, and what I've done here is basically created barriers for all of the fleshy space around the hair. Uh, the model that I'm drawing now has very dark hair and very dark features. Um, and so I'm sort of using uh, the framing of those dark features um, with the hair shape instead of looking for the entire skull all the way through. Just another way of starting a picture. Uh, again, there's no right or wrong. There is just lots of different ways of going about bending and manipulating the rules. Um, and, and that bending and manipulating here, I'm, I'm not taking the full skull into account. But I am using an axis line. You can tell that I have the crosshairs here. I have a center line vertically on the face, and then I have a crosshair perpendicular from that that represents the space where the eye sockets are going to be placed and where the details of the eyes go. 